All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are six days in strong, six days straight strong in December. Let's Get see if we can keep it up. We going, got sir. more dark Peter? humor. Hey, Cleveland, this is just so we can talk without getting spotted by Lois or Donna. I need you to step out of the car, sir. Peter, there's got to be a better way. He's got a knife! This is... <laughs> Sorry, Cleveland, it's got to be authentic. <laughs> stay down! Oh, stay down! This is the one that we watched on the last episode, bro. Oh, trying to grab my gun, are you? Oh. Last video, bro. Hey, rookie, save some for me. Wow, the whole gang's back together. Shut up! We don't need you in this town. Bro, Great. that's the only way to get beat up is by your best friends. You'll never let me live this down in doggy heaven. <laughs> hey, there's that guy who got killed by a cat. <laughs> by a cat, Brian? Shut up. How'd you guys die? We bit kids. Woo! Biting kids. Yeah, unpettable. <laughs> I miss biting kids. <laughs> unpettable. I have found you. Oh shit. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Wait. I've found you. Oh, Stewie. Oh my god, Stewie, you okay? Quick, somebody call an ambulance. <laughs> I need stitches. We don't want this to leave a scar. No, there's no time for an ambulance. We gotta take him to the hospital right away. Guys, I'm all right. I think Meg... Oh my god, he's delirious. He's talking nonsense. Quick, everybody in the car. <laughs> <laughs> You run like a girl. You're running with scissors? <gasps> run like a man, you get a suit. I haven't felt this bad <laughs> since I drove by that speed sign. 32, okay, okay. Damn, Peter. It's okay. Oh my gosh. JK this is my Jew flattening machine. It'll flatten any Jew. Simply climb behind the wheel, drive it towards a Jew, and flatten him. Could you also use it just to drive from place to place and stuff? It, it's a Jew flattening machine. It, it's not what it's designed for. But you could use it that way. Yeah, yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah, you could, you could also use the Mona Lisa as a placemat. Yeah. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Your life could be worse. It could be a black. A black. Go ahead. A blanket. Blanket. Well, I'm glad everything's back to normal. Peter, your mother's dead. Yeah, but at least she's alive. What are you what? talking about, Peter? She's dead. You see, Lois, the key in life is to lie to yourself about reality. Smile through everything. All the bad things, why well, you just pile them away in a place that will come back one day in the form of, I don't know, rage. But everything's fine. I'll see you. That's in how it is, bro. It really is. Okay, but I gotta be home by Broke seven. Hand. I'm supposed to talk to the police about that shooting I witnessed. You witnessed a shooting? Oh my gosh! Good lord, you all right? If I die, leave two dollars worth of flowers right here. Here's my fourth grade class photo. Lean it against the cheap candle. Well, should I call an ambulance? No, call Channel Nine and have a gap-toothed woman say, "Quote: He never bothered nobody." <laughs> oh my gosh! He's a free man. Whoa. What? Hmm. Unfortunate timing. Now, which one of these scumbag firemen will go after his fiance? <laughs> We're very happy. Oh my gosh. Is that really what be happening? You'll babysit Stewie? Only if I can have a popsicle. Only if you say it right. Popsicle. Good. What do you call it at you first? Be responsible tonight. I don't want a repeat of the last time I left you alone with one of our children. What happened last time? <laughs> Oh, shit. Peter Griffin it's Jr. Just so horrible. I'm sorry, Lois. I thought if I shook him enough, he'd stop <laughs> crying. I was kind of right. <laughs> Return to Superman. <laughs> I mean, he's not wrong. Lois, what's wrong? Clark, we all have breast cancer. The doctor oh, shit. says it's as if our breasts have been x rayed five hours a day every day for the last three years. Oh, my God, that's terrible. First, every woman I've ever known, and now you guys. That's terrible. Lois, know you're here? No clue. I brought beer. I brought pot. Oh, and now I feel stupid. I brought pot. I brought acid. Oh, well, now I feel stupid. Don't do drugs, kids. I brought crystal meth. Oh, my gosh. Ten rounds of chemotherapy. Oh, my gosh. I Jesus, bro. We may have gone too far. Now I feel bad for laughing at my dad when he went through this. Well, the only mouse in this neighborhood is our innocent neighbor. Audio, oh, bro. Maxwell. Comrade Mouskowitz, did you think you could run forever? It's not me. I, uh, I think you've got the wrong mouse. 
I'm just regular old Frank Maxwell, and I'm very late for work. Good day, ma'am. Oh, my God. <laughs> you killed him? That was not me. Someone else got to him first. <laughs> Tough break, Jew Mouse. <laughs> and this is the kitchen. We've got all kinds of snacks and cold drinks in here. Well, I don't see the refrigerator. Oh, we just use Ann Coulter. Hmm. There's never anything good in here. Oh, here's oh me my getting gosh. my first haircut. Oh, Peter. Here's me getting my 351st haircut. Oh. And here's when I couldn't Oh my gosh. Anymore. I killed that barber. What? <laughs> Hey, what's your big idea? This song's from the 1960s. It shouldn't be in this jukebox. Wait, wait, can I have that record? I love that song. I'll let you have sex with my daughter. I don't know. Let's see what your daughter looks what like. What she look like, Peter? She's uh, right there. Yeah, buddy. Okay, I'll do her. But can you tell her to cry and beg me to stop? I think that can be a... Tom, Tom, before you do anything... What? Crazy, answer me one question. Oh, no. Why is it I have a house and you have an apartment? Yeah, maybe you should jump. <laughs> Quagmire. It's a boy, Mrs. Quagmire. Ah, that's wonderful. How do you feel? Horny. Really horny. Could you put him back in and out a few times? What? I was born nine times that day. That explains Brian everything. Just a new friend for the family. Trust me, you guys are gonna get along better than Abraham Lincoln and his neighbor. <laughs> hey, Dale. I noticed your lawn's getting a little high. Yeah, I used to have a guy for that. I love this one, bro. It's okay, so stupid, but so one. funny. Oh my god, look, you guys, it's death! Hey, has anyone got a cell phone I can borrow? God's been paging me for like 20 minutes. Wait, you still use a pager? Yeah, well, we thought once I don't even know what a pager is. Heaven, we'd all get iPhones, but oh, I think it's like that one, up. right? Wait a minute. You work with God? Oh, death, we've been looking all over for that guy. Will you take us to him? Sure, but don't you mean her? Look at your faces. Of course it's the dude. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh my god! Peter, you killed it! Well, you guys relax. He's got eight more lives. Okay, seven what? more lives. What? Six. Five. What are you trying to do? Four. Three. Peter, stop doing what you're doing. <laughs> well, it'll seem like the cat ran away. <laughs> we'll never get away with that. Oh, we just might. You see, I've got a lucky cat's foot. I love how all the servers look like celebrities from the 50s. Marilyn Monroe, Elvis, and look, there's James Dean after the accident. Let me tell you about tonight's specials. Oh, look, Michael Cleveland Jackson. Finally made it. Oh, hey there, Griffins. <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, <that laughs> takes... Ugh, the elevator's taking forever. I I'm just gonna use the stairs. There were two homeless people eating each other in there. We now return to Meredith Baxter in Raped by a Clown. What are you doing, Peter? It was awful. He made me do things. Awful things. Kind of things. What kinds of things? I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. I think I love this, bro. I like I love the dark humor.